Track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Chilly weather this morning. Temperatures will warm up nicely throughout the day with the breezes kicking in out of the northwest at 10 to 20 at least during the afternoon hours and gusting to 30 at times. But the mild conditions we'll see during the afternoon today gets repeated. Actually a gradual warming trend throughout the week and then a chance for rain as unsettled weather returns. Uh, we have a storm system moving away to the east and another one just now moving in toward the west coast that we'll keep an eye on. Uh, in Emporia right now, a clear sky, clear and Junction City still waiting for that sunrise uh, a little bit on the chilly side, but it looks like we're going to be able to for the most part avoid any freezing temperatures out there this morning as with the clear sky temperature is still holding in Topeka at 43 west wind at eight miles per hour it does feel a little chillier. The wind chills down in the 30s, but fortunately for many the wind has allowed for the temperatures to not fall too far into the 30s, if at all. The colder air off to our north and west, where there are some freezy, uh, freezing conditions, and generally as you head farther to the east and southeast, you get into the breeze. And with that, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Right now, 37 at Manhattan, 40 at Riley, 38 at Emporia, and about 40 to 43 across Shawnee County. The northwesterly breezes, 5 to 10 over most of the eastern counties, a little bit lighter to the west, a little bit stronger to the north and northeast. But that breeze becomes a bigger factor throughout the course of the day at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. And that is sustained. It'll gust closer to 30. But then in the evening, the wind relaxes. Should have pretty calm conditions overnight into the morning tomorrow. And that may allow for another chilly start to the day tomorrow once again. Upper level storm system off to the north and east has really allowed the central part of the country to clear out on the backside. You can see all these blue lines circling around the Great Lakes. That's your big upper level storm system. Here's this ridge over the uh, western mountains that'll gradually spread our way, keeping it increasingly warmer, but also keeping it pretty clear for a while until this storm system out west finally moves in. Shouldn't be tonight and tomorrow. We're looking at clear conditions today. Tonight on into the day tomorrow, still looking at mainly clear weather. Temperatures will be quite nice. We'll make it up into the middle to upper 60s today. Fall back in the low 40s tonight, and then we're back into the upper 60s, trying to push close to 70 during the first couple days of the week. But by the time we're into late Wednesday, I think Wednesday will be pleasant. Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, maybe some clouds and a better chance for showers as we head into Thursday, off and on throughout the day, and that could continue at times into Friday as well. But Thursday is looking perhaps to be the best chance for scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Today with sunshine, we see those temperatures climbing nicely midday into the upper 50s to about 60 into the 60s this afternoon. Just a gorgeous day, a little breeze though, down to 37 tonight. Tomorrow up to a high of 68 degrees with sunshine and the next several days warming gradually into the 70s on Wednesday, 80 on Thursday, but that rain chance starts to pick up off and on throughout the day. And then we're in the mid to upper 70s throughout the tail end of the week and on into the weekend with a few scattered showers, still a possibility Friday and Saturday as well. Should drop off to about a 20% chance as we head into Sunday of next weekend.